Hey guys, it's Daggett here. Welcome back to another video and welcome back to the table. Now in today's video, we are going to be drawing three Japanese style tattoo flush designs. I should say three more because we did this last week and I'll leave a uh, link in the description of last week's video if you missed it. But yeah, essentially we're going to be drawing three more Japanese flash designs using Procreate on the iPad Pro. But you can of course follow along with whatever medium you are comfortable with. And if you are new to my channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought when you finish watching the video. And make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out next time a video pops up. Now we're starting off today's video by drawing an Oni. So I'm going to start off by drawing in a circle. Doesn't need to be perfect, just a rough circle or oval shape. You can just sketch that in and then you can go ahead and add a cross to it wrapping around the front like so and then wrapping the other direction like this around the front and then I'm just going to create a down and to the right like a little oval shape that's going to give us like a spot for our chin essentially now on this uh, line here you can put an oval on each side or a circle on each side of the center to create space for your eyes like a little oval in between them for the nose and then on either side of that oval I'm just gonna put in two little circles and these are gonna give us like our nostrils okay now at the back of this oval here I'll put in another oval now I know there's a lot of ovals here I just think it's a great way to uh, to sketch these guys out, to map them out. Join these two ovals with a little curve. That's going to give you your jaw coming back to the where the ear sits, which is going to be right about here. You can pretty much just come out like this, for this sort of shape, and then out and back in again for the bottom of the ear or the earlobe section. That's going to give you like an ear shape. Now just above the ear, I'm going to drop an oval in pretty much come out and up like this to create a horn just imagine where that would be on the other side and create your horn shape all right I'm now going to open up a new layer on top of this we're going to start adding in some details so for the eyes I like to start by cutting pretty much directly down and across the top of the eye like this you can use like these little curved lines to create folds Okay, and then on the outside of that, I just like to put in these little peaks. Okay, and these are going to give you those little spikes or spines that only have uh, on their eyebrow areas there. So we can go like that. Uh, now from here, I need to do the nose. I like to come in between where this oval and this oval meet and create a little nostril. And you could do that on both sides if you'd like. And now you can come around like this for each nostril. I might come up and then back like so. And then you can come out from the other side with a couple of folds to create the eyebrow ridge on the other side of the face. And then add in your little spines as well over there. And these are just like little peaks, little triangles, really simple. Now from here, I'm gonna come into where the nose is here. I'm gonna curve down and around and then curve up again and loop it around at the end. That's gonna give us sort of where the cheek ends. And at that point, you can throw in just a large curved peak for a tooth. You can throw a couple more in wherever you'd like them basically. And then coming down just below the nose, I'm gonna cut straight down, pretty much create a little curve here and a little curve here. That's gonna give us the top part of the mouth. You can just throw in couple of dots if you'd like. Sometimes they've got this sort of almost tiger-like mouth to them. Looks kind of cool. Uh, for this eye, I'll come in from the end, sort of cutting off the bottom portion of the eye a little bit and coming out. You can round those off. And I'll do a similar thing in the bottom here, but just looping up and around. And then you can add in this little bit of a cheek on the outside there. And now from this point, you can pretty much add your pupils in, which are just going to be circles that are looking off in the same direction. Now, once you've done this, you can come from where the cheek sort of overlaps here. I like to come down, come down like this, come back up and then down again. 
and then you can throw in a couple of teeth now just for clarity's sake i'll come in here and just erase this top line that way you can see uh, very clearly where the teeth overlap the lip there and you could you know sort of do a couple couple of teeth in there and then just add in a doubled up line for the bottom lip like so that's going to give you like an, a big underbite so obviously different ways you can do it and now for the back of the jaw here i'm pretty much going to start adding these little spines in just the same style spines we used for the eyebrows there these little peaks okay pretty much doing those all the way around to the chin and then coming around the chin section here with the little spines and that's going to give us the chin now for the ear you're pretty much just following your shape around that we did earlier like so i like to just come out of here and add in this little shape and these little wiggly lines and that's the ear very simple for that one now before we can complete the horns and the top of the head we need to draw in some of the hair the hair on this example is going to be really simple i'm pretty much going to do a spiral and come around like so and then you can do a couple of curved lines that sort of back off of that spiral and come around like this and then we can change direction going behind our horn behind that bundle of hair and just add uh, your little curved lines to the other side of these uh, the other side of these little spirals and that's going to create these little hair bundles for your Oni and you're pretty much going to continue those around different parts of the head so uh, let's do like this okay and i think that'll be it for that section now we're going to connect the head up uh, just use a wavy line like this that way it gives the head a bit of texture and then we can create these overlapping lines of hair Pretty much coming around to the other side of the head and then start from the other side of the horn over here and you can continue them down pretty much as far as you want you can make this guy have longer hair or shorter hair and then for the horns i'm just going to use uh sort of this pressure technique that i have uh, for doing the horns which is basically like apply some pressure lift off apply more pressure lift off it's just going to give you this uh varied line weight along the outside and it takes a little bit of uh, messing around to sort of see how you'd like to do it. And you can do the same thing to create texture on the inside of the horn. I've gone through uh, different styles of horns before on my channel. There's heaps of different styles to do. This is just the one that I sort of prefer and tend to do the most. And that, my friends, is how you draw a little Japanese style Oni head tattoo flash design. All right, next up we are drawing a Daruma doll. We're gonna start off with uh, an egg shape actually for this one, instead of an oval. Do something more egg shaped, like so. Uh, on the bottom here, I'm gonna drop in a circle shape uh, off to the left slightly. Another circle more off to the right. And a little oval off to the left like this, just to sort of split that bottom part up in two, three. Now I'm gonna come up from the center of this, pretty much coming along there to create like a center line and across the top. And here we can throw in the eyes and I want the eyes to be quite large, and pretty much just big circles in this case. Big circles like so. Uh, for the nose, for now I'm just gonna put in a circle with a small circle on either side of it like this and I want the mouth to be a big frown, but it's going to be cut off a little bit by this oval. So it's going to be like a nice long frown, like so. And that's going to be our egg shape. Now for the outside of this, we're going to have like this uh, cloak or robe, like this hood sort of in the wind. So just coming to the outside here. And in this case, I'll just do a squiggly line and you can sort of play around with this and uh, neaten it up depending on how you want it to look. Now from here, I'm gonna open up a new layer to do our main outline. And I'm gonna come down to start where the nose is. I'm gonna start at our T here, basically. 
and I'm going to come down, trace the outside here, and the same on the other side. This is going to create our nose, and at the top of this, I might just put in a line like so. Now I can come to the other side here where the eye is, come around like this, and then for the eyebrow, I'm just going to do these long flicky lines, most of which are cut off at this point by the robe or the hood there, but you'll see them on the other side, so it's important. And you can just trace a circle around to create an eye. And in this case, I'll do this eye with a big pupil in the middle. Now from here, we're gonna do the other eye essentially the same way. We're gonna add in a line that looks like so. Okay. And then we can come around and follow our ovals around to create these little folds and curves in the fabric. And that's gonna give us good placement for our mouth to put in our mouth there like so. And then we can put in a mustache, which is just gonna be these long curved lines come under to the nose. Okay, like so. Uh, which we can then put in the outside of the face from the eyebrow down like that and around the bottom put in a little curve where the mouth is on the other side and you can complete that at the top so that's going to give us the front of the face there now i'm pretty much going to come down on the outside here to complete the robes on the right hand side and then you can bring the robe around now for the wavy sort of squiggly top portion here, we're gonna start on this outermost one. You come up to the top and then pretty much bring that down and around to connect into the back. And then off the top of each one of these uh, sort of curved peaks, you can draw a line just coming from where it's draping from. Like so. And then on the inside, you can do the same thing drawing a curved line uh, sort of where it would be draping from and that's going to give you a sort of folded fabric look or a hanging fabric look now in this section of the cloth where it's sort of bunched up you can add a center in add like this teardrop shape to it and bring that uh, down along the edge of your daruma making them smaller as you go. Uh, that's just like a little pattern work that's on his robe, but you could do whatever sort of pattern you would like and they change it up depending on the design or depending on the actual doll itself. And that essentially gives you your Daruma doll Japanese flash. All right, last thing we're drawing here is a fugu. If you don't know what a fugu is, it is a puffer fish in Japanese. I'm gonna start with an oval like this and I'm going to Draw like a center line coming around like this. I'm just gonna put a little oval at the front, sort of to indicate where our face is. Cause these are gonna be, you know, this is a real big puffed up fish. And I'm going to come into the face here, drawing a center line like this or an, an eye line there. And on either side, I'm gonna put in this little off-sided rectangle sort of shape. like so. You could do ovals or circles for the eyes, but just to sort of give it a bit more character, I'm gonna do these sort of squished rectangle shapes. In the middle, I'm gonna essentially draw a jelly bean shape, like so. Now just below our face section, I'm gonna come in with a couple of curves and we're gonna draw in this fin shape, which is essentially just a long box shape or square shape, like so. You can do the same thing coming off the other side. You're gonna see a lot less of it though, so just keep that in mind. Now following the fish back towards the back of it here, I'm just gonna come off, down, and then back into the bottom of the fish for a very short sort of tail section. And at this point I can add in a dorsal fin, sort of towards the back of the fish, just like a wavy line like so. And you can come to where this line here comes around and meets this line. And pretty much add in this very little fin shape for one of the back fins, like so. And then your tail is going to essentially come out, 
down and back around for this fan shaped tail like so okay opening up a new layer we're going to start by working on the face so make your jelly bean shape a bit more solid you can double up on your jelly bean to give it these lips and then add a curved cross in the middle these are sort of what their teeth look like they've got these sort of pincer like uh, teeth really strange follow your eye shapes around like so just sort of smoothening everything now Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my brushes here just sort of smoothening everything and then once you've done that I like to add this solid jelly bean shape to the center of it like this now you can come around to the outside of this add in like an eyebrow ridge on each side just to emphasize the eyes and then I'm going to add in a curve here and a curve on this side for the cheeks and then come to the bottom here and add another curve in for that sort of chin section which is going to come around like that now you can add another little curve line here in front of the fin and then follow the fin around like so and add in these little veins on the fin you can do the same thing for the other fin I just add this bumpy texture to the outside seems to make the most sense but you can do the same thing for this little fin at the back for the dorsal fin I'm just gonna follow this line I like it to be quite solid and then do lines coming all the way down the dorsal fin and the tail is pretty much going to be the same as your fins just adding in this bumpy sort of texture to the end of the tail and then adding these lines sort of fanning out with the shape of the tail like that now the rest of it's really simple and fun you're essentially going to put in these spines and spikes everywhere all right uh, you know mixing it up between spines and all these little solid lines as well but pretty much just putting spines all over the body different sizes and they're pretty much just these little triangle uh, peaks little triangle shapes but covering the body in these little spines and that is essentially going to give you your Japanese fugu tattoo flash all right guys that is it for today's video I really hope you enjoyed this one I hope you give them a go they are a lot of fun and if you are new to my channel like I said make sure you smash that like button if you enjoyed today's video leave me a comment down below letting me know what you thought and make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on new videos when they come out and I'll see you guys in the next one all right bye bye if you like the content that I make and you'd like to support the channel make sure you smash that like button and hey, while you're at it, check out one of these other great videos.